hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you all are fine and doing great today we are going to discuss this transform string problem of gfg so guys let's move on to the problem this is a very important problem i mean so very interesting problem okay just this on a some concept so here guys what we are given we are given two string a and b okay and we have to find out if we can make a is like what I, uh, I am doing just a minute so guys here we are given here we are given to string a is some string and some string is b and we have to find out whether by doing some operations on this a string can we make a is equal to b can we make a is equal to b we have to find out this okay can it possible now guys and what is the operation we can do we can take out any character from any position and put it in the front okay like 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 if a b c d is the string we can convert it to b a c d what we are doing we are putting this string by removing this character in front or we can do it like we can take c d or any other character we cannot take a because if we take it then a string remains same okay so and we have to find out the minimum number of move so choosing first character come in first character is of no use so we can choose any character from the string and put it in front and then remaining string will come in order like here a c d b will remove and a and c combine here like this okay guys so now what we have to find out the minimum number of uh, the minimum number of operations we need okay the minimum number of steps or operation we need to make a is equal to b here you can see we need only one operation but we will take out b and put it in front so b a d uh, which is equal to a uh, which, which is equal to b okay so our string in just one operation became equal now here we will need to do three operation what three operation we will take out for one by one and putting this in front okay like this so now guys we have to do it without any extra space or any complexity okay that is possible but now guys so first of all so first of all guys what we have to find out we have to check whether my a can be is equal to b it can be suppose if my a is a b c and my b is b c d then or it is like this then i, I am never be able to form uh, the to make a or b equal so first of all what i have to do i have to count the all occurrence of character in my a and that number should be is equal to b so guys what i will do what i'll do i will take uh, another map of type care command and add each character occurrence to my map then i will decrease each character occurrence of my b like what i am doing okay i just click on practice so, so for his character a b d and b a d i am doing for a b d b a a d this is my map a will come occurrence became one suppose here a here a now b will come now b will come occurrence became one now d will come occurrence began one now a will come occurrence became two now here it this is my b string so i will decrease the occurrence so b come i will decrease it by one a come i will decrease it by one d come i will decrease it by one a come i will decrease it by one so i have completed my operation so i will check for each the map value it should be equal to zero okay suppose if i have one more a here then what i will take it decrease my zero and it will become minus one so i found a number which is not is equal to minus one okay which is not is equal to zero so i will return minus one means there is some extra character in my b or if here is two a more then it will four and four minus three a will be one so it will remain one now one means i have some extra character in a so i will return minus one okay this is if my i dot second never is equal to uh, is not is equal to a then i just written minus one means i have some extra or some extra character in b or in a okay so guys let's okay but now if we come out of the loop means we have uh, complete occurrence means we can make a is equal to b means the number of character of occurrence of a particular character is same 
now what we will do what we will do so we will starting from the last we will starting from the last of my both string a and b and come out if my ith index is equal to jth index ith index of my a is equal to jth index of my j means i don't need to perform anything i just continue elsewhere if i found a character that is not is equal to my jth character then i will decrease my i decrease my i and increasing my answer means this is the character this is the character that is not here means this is a character i will found in as much left string so means i have to put his character in front i need to put this character in front i am telling you how suppose here is a character g e e k f o r i am taking the example g e e k now other is f o r g e e k g e e k so here i uh, here uh, or i will do, okay i will point this j will point in this and this is my answer variable okay let's change the color this is my answer variable zero initially means complete occurrence complete match now i my j i is the it j both are equal i will just continue increase my j to i point to this j point to this both are again equal we will continue both are again equal continue both are again equal continue but now my j is at here i is at here both are not equal so i will increase my occurrence to 1 and j will remain here decrease my i now i is here. again they are both are not equal decrease my i increase my answer means i need to move these two character in front okay because i know these two character come in my his string but not at correct place so i will make them in come at to the front okay now i am f f is not is equal to k again increase my 3 now i am at k k increase k is equal to k again decrease my i and j both okay now i answer remain same both are at a both are equal again come at this e is equal to e decrease my i and j both are equal okay this is small or capital this is g okay this is g both are equal now i will come here means it will become minus sign it is it is here okay my j is here so in my uh, i became minus 1 means i have completed iteration in my ith group okay then i will just return 3 means three number of character i need to change now guys what i will do i increase my value for this fr now how i put this in front first of all i will took r and add it here so r, r will remove from here then i will took o and put in in front then i will took f and put in in front so this string will look like for for g e e k g e e k this is the removed part g e e k g e e k so this is how we will do okay similarly you can see for one more example a b c d b c uh, or like something like d c b a dcb first of all i am calculating this then i will check it for online answer okay now what the site is giving me answer i is here i just change the pen it is quite helpful for us i at both are not equal answer is initially zero answer will update now i i is here i is here both are not equal both are both are not equal i will again increase both are not equal i will again increase these both are not equal so i will now here both are equal so i will remain say it will come to minus 1 means i have to put three number i have to put three number here now in which what order i will put first of all i will took b and put here then i will took c put here then i will took d put here so d c b a d c b a is my current string or if my th this string is like c d a a d and this is like a b c d my answer is zero initially these both are these both are equal so i will decrease my answer not equal increase my answer i come here not equal increase my answer i come here equal so just decrease my i and j now it is two so means I will put C and B to 
uh, took B first of all, put B here, then took C, put C here. So C, B, A, D. C, B, A, D. In just two move, I can make my string equal. Okay. So all unmatched character I will count in my answer and means these are the unmatched character. These particular are my unmatched character. So now I have some answer uh, means some some total answer uh, uh, unmatched character. Okay, then I will took them and put it in the front because it means these all character come in my come in my front come in my front or in my base string. So I will order them. Okay, now I will order them accordingly to, because I can choose this as my first character as well as this as well as this there is no there is no any obstacle in choosing any particular character i can choose the any character that i want to put in the front okay so this is how we will solve it i am taken i as a dot size and b as b dot size uh, a dot size minus one and b dot size minus one because the last character index is minus one now till my i greater than and is equal to 0 and my j greater than is equal to 0. If my both character are equal then I will decrease i and j else while I will increase my answer means I found one more unmatched character which I need to insert in the front and decrease my i. Decrease my i-th character means I will check for i minus 1th character and at last I will return my answer means I have total answer unmatched character. Answer is the value of un total number of unmatched character so I have to put those whole character in the front okay so i just compile run it so you guys can see all the 307 skc pass out time taken is when okay so now here for this character this character you can just restore in a vector so uh, you can here time complexity and space complexity is O1 you guys may be thinking why I am taking an unordered map so because take an unordered map of care comma int care comma int type and in care in care as you can see I have all the lowercase English characters I have all the lowercase English characters and total number of lowercase character are 26 so I, I am taken just O26 space maximum O26 space okay or you can say 26 plus 26 okay you can take a vector as well so you can say I just need 26 space so this will consider as O1 this will consider as O1 okay because I just need some constant space means some 26 variables I am taken okay okay guys so it is just O1 space and O1 time complexity because I, I am using only a constant amount of space that is equal to number of total alphabet in English that are 26 and 26 will is a constant so it will it will take as O1 okay so I hope you will understand the problem if not then first of all try run it because this is not that much complex so if you try run then I am sure that you will understand it definitely and if you still you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you meanwhile you can subscribe the channel like the video and if you like the content and understand the approach then please comment out and thank you for watching this guys